Hi there and welcome to another video. I'm glad to see you back. I'm glad that you want to learn or brush up on your English skills. Anyway, there is a mistake in the cartoon of today, as you probably notice. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll write it down in the video description. But yeah, have a look. Uh, this does not make sense. Anyway, let's get to the video of today. Today we have a modern word. A word that didn't exist before the internet. It, it's been recently uh, invented. I, I don't know how recently, maybe a few years ago. But the word is ghosted or to be ghosted. <laughs> yeah, okay. To be ghosted. What on earth could that mean? This is my ghost. It has, of course, nothing to do with a ghost. It's more a kind of idiom. Um, what does it mean if you're ghosted? Well, here we have to talk about something you all know. The World Wide Web or the Internet and especially social media. As you may know, it is possible to make friends on the Internet or to, to meet your existing friends or, or to meet someone totally new. Yeah, OK, there are these kind of things going on if you didn't know. Anyway, if you meet something, someone, so not something, if you meet someone <laughs> online and you start chatting, you have a relationship, but maybe you've never actually met in person. You just, um, I don't know, chat using uh, WhatsApp or Line or uh, Facebook Messenger, I guess. When you're ghosted, that means that the other person totally ignores you online. To ignore someone basically means that you're acting as if they're not there, as if they don't exist anymore. For example, you have a back and forth conversation, a chat, and one day you send a message to your, your new best friend, your online friend, and that friend simply does not answer. You try again, and again there is no answer. This goes on for a few days, I guess weeks or months. Well, you have been ghosted. The other person have basic, has basically cut all lines of communication and I guess doesn't want to talk to you anymore. That is being ghosted. I guess there might be another explanation if you really don't know the person. They might have had an accident and, um, well, I guess just died, passed away, kicked the bucket. I hope it's not the case. But anyway, if you're ghosted, if you're ever ghosted, I guess it doesn't feel very nice because um, you're basically being ignored and the other person doesn't even have the courage, doesn't even have the guts to tell you that they're not interested in you anymore. And they just decide to, I don't know, unfriend you or never reply to your messages anymore. Welcome. You have been ghosted. Well, I hope it hasn't happened to you. If it has, uh, let me know about the experience and what you did, how you felt if you started stalking uh, your new best friend online or you just um, cut all communication as well. Anyway, to be ghosted. It's, it's a new word thanks to um, social media and the internet. Finally, the question of the day is a question about verb tenses. You're going on holiday, you're going away tomorrow, and you're going by plane. A friend asks you, what time mm, the plane? Mm. You need to use uh, the verb leave either in um, present simple Present perfect, present continuous, or future simple. Let me know what you think the best answer is. There's only one really good answer. If you want to know the answer, it's in the video description down below where you click more and then you can see it. I will leave it down there. That's it for me tonight. See you next time. Goodbye.